finite state transducers these types of machines they are finite state machines then once again these types of machine produces outputs while reading inputs hence these types of machines they are called as finite state machines with outputs we have two different types of uh, machines so the first one it is called as more machines the second one is called as mille machines now let's see what's the difference between these two types of machine coming to the first one in these types of machines these machines associates outputs with each state of the machine we are going to consider whereas coming to the here the mille machines they associates output with each transitions each transitions of the machine so this is one major difference between these two types of machines coming to the second one these mure machines these these mure machines they are um, invented by edward mure and these machines they are invented by george mille then coming again with these two types of machines now here the mohr machine is defined by using seven tuples namely the first one is k sigma capital o then delta then d then s followed by a whereas these mille machines they are defined by using six tuples k sigma once again o then once again delta followed by s followed by a now let's see what are these tuples coming to this where k is it is nothing but the finite state set of states then sigma it is input alphabet then o these are output alphabets then small s belongs to set k so that represents start state then capital a is a subset or equal to the capital k so it is nothing but uh, these are set of accepting states or final states and finally we have delta so this is the transition function and the transition function is going to happen from a k state on the inputs defined over the alphabet sigma once again to the next state then coming to the next one we have one more symbol capital d that represents the output function since the more machines okay the output is associated with the states the function uh, takes the transition of the type k followed by zero that is nothing but it is the output alphabets now coming to the mille machines so we it is defined over six tuples where the first one again k similar to the more machines finite set of states then once again sigma input alphabets then o this represents output alphabets then s starts with start state then capital a set of accepting states or 
the final states and delta the transition so this transition function is defined from a state k on the alphabet defined to again some to again some state on star then once again we have d that is output function where this output function it is defined from state k on the alphabet finally o so this is how um, uh, more machines and mele machines are defined so let's take some examples here one example for mele machine and one example for the more machine coming to this um, mele machine now uh, since um, each output is associated with the state uh, we'll just will consider the example of um, some traffic system fine now coming to this suppose consider we are in state q not fine it is nothing but when we consider the traffic system consider we have at currently the green light is on fine it is nothing but we are in state q not then after some 70 seconds we are going to some other state consider this state q1 as soon as we reach state q1 immediately the color of the color should change from green to yellow then after again some 10 seconds when the state is changed consider we are in state q2 immediately when we reach this state this state has to output the color that is red then after some 80 seconds when okay we are going to reach again this state immediately as soon as we reach this state it has to output what green light so this process should be repeated so here each state should put the output that is nothing but the color of these lights first year as soon as we start or we reached the state q naught it should give the output as what green then here it should reach give the color that is yellow this is red Right. So you can see here G, Y, R. These are the outputs that are associated with these states. These types of machines, they are called as more machines, where the outputs are associated with the states. Now, coming to this um, Miele machines, uh, let's take an example of one's complement. Now, in one's complement, suppose if we consider an example of 1010, one, we should get the output as what? 0, 1, then followed by again 0, 1. Now, uh, what we'll do is since here the output is associated with each transition, so let's start with the start state. Consider we have a state, okay? I'll take the name of the state as Q0. Now, in this state, single state, whenever we see 0, change the output to 1. So here, this is the output. So we are adding the output associated with the transition. And again, whenever one more, okay, uh, a transition wave, whenever we see one, change the one to the output. What is the output? That is zero, fine. So you can see here, here the outputs are associated along with the transitions. So hence, these types of machines, they are called as Miele machines. So this is the difference between the more machines and Miele machines.